Get on to winter. I still feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not sure. It's not a jiggy. I'm pretty sure there's two more jiggies, and uh, we will find those in here. See ya. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. All right. So the interesting thing about winter here, aside from snow, is um, remember Sir Slush, the evil snowman? He's gonna be around. The ice cubes are around, and also all these plants are dead. Which is kinda nice. No more, um, no more of them to deal with. We need to get to a flight pad first and foremost. Oh yeah, these birds aren't here anymore either, which is cool. Yeah, frick them plants. But, uh, if we get over here, we'll see that the flight pad is uncovered now and I guess we'll go ahead and assuming I don't frick it up horribly attempt to kill all of the surf slushes get that out of the way what a shot my dude actually you know what slight detour because I want to hit the grunty switch booyah and that's outside the world we will need the B for that. All right, let's go ahead and get back down here. No, no. But yeah, let's attempt to get rid of Sir Slush. There's several of them around. Good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Our plant is dead, unfortunately, but hey, that's winter for you, right? Oh, what a shot. That was pretty cool. That was weird with the camera, but we got away with it. Alright, I think we've got them all at this level. Right, so we can start thinking about going up, getting the ones that are up here. Before he even got a shot off on us. Oh, I hear a bird. Our friend, Eerie. Oh dear. There we go. Oh yeah, we gotta do this too. Uh, ooh, not from that angle. <laughs> that was almost um, not wise. We wanna break this, and I think we actually have to fly into it as well, so. I reckon we will do, no, we'll do that. We'll do that afterwards. There's still a couple of Surf Slush, I believe. Somewhere. Do, 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 do. Maybe not. I think there's some further up. But I'm trying not to spoil. I don't know where he was, but okay. I'm trying not to spoil a certain something. You know what? We'll just go ahead and we'll grab the last Jinjo. We'll talk to Mumbo, and then we'll, there's another flight pad right outside. So. Oh, I want a gamer pet, guys. Watch out. Yup. Did you just call me a fool? Frick you. Oh yeah, is there something up here? Feathers. Eh, I guess I'll take them. A gamer PC. Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, you've played Banjo-Kazooie like six times. You've won a PC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's one way of rewarding me for being incredibly loyal to this old game. Oh, 
All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go see Irini. Uh, the hard way, cause I don't want to spoil it. So let's, let's manually get up here. I need to deal with this idiot. I think there's something in this. What's left of this honeycomb? Yeah, I'm on both of them. You can bulk them indeed. Give it to James. You know. I don't know. Goodness. Quite about a cursing. Alright, uh We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Jesus. Uh okay. So you'll see this place is all boarded up now. Uh, but I want to say there's something on top of it this time. I just got to not frick this up. Yeah, notes. I suppose you could fly over and grab these if you're real careful. But, uh... Yeah, yeah. A lot of work to go to, isn't it? Okay. Careful, these are icy now. Just so you know. Uh, why me, though? <laughs> I don't know which side's closer at this point. It's this one. You know what? Save a few steps. Yeah, that's a that's a big U for me as well. Right there with you. There's a mumbo token. Right here. Figured I might as well get it. So I didn't forget. Obviously, we don't need mumbo tokens anymore, but part of doing this 100%, I kind of always feel like it's important to get everything, and the mumbo tokens are a part of that. It doesn't actually matter. You get enough to get by, and it still counts as 100% at the end, as long as you get all the Jiggies notes and extra honeycomb pieces. Speaking of which, extra honeycomb pieces... We... Don't have any. I feel like I must have missed one. I know where one is here in winter, but uh, I don't know about the rest. I don't know if there's even anything in here this time. Just a bunch of eggs. Oh, did Mark review it? Okay. <laughs> you falling off the Groot is penance for that. Yeah, it's true. I was I was kind of merciless. I won't I won't deny it. It was really funny. It was really funny, but yeah, almost spoiled the thing. <laughs> Carefully now. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Okay, we can't go in the door, but we can go in the window. We'll just open the window to the cold. Oh, hey, look. Isn't that adorable? Uh, the reason it played that music, by the way, is that one of the stop and swap items is in here. If you haven't already got it. So, that's why it played that music. Otherwise, just some random collectibles. Alright, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he was reviewed too many. Carefully now. Trying to get us up to see our friend here without spoiling it too much. Because he is beautiful and majestic now. Look how big he is. Watch as I fly into the sky, he says. 
we were basically his mom. So he poops out a jiggy for us and says goodbye. Oh, they grow up so fast. All right, that's all the jiggies. That is not all of the notes, and we still have to get two extra honeycomb pieces, which I only remember the location of one. So that's a problem. Not for the notes. I think they're just up here, and maybe down in the water somewhere. Watery area. Because I haven't super looked around down there. Uh, let's go in here. Pretty sure that there's not one in here. If there is, then I'm good to go, but it's probably just another one up. It is not even, in fact, a one up. Okay. It's not even a one up this time. Wow. Let me just. Ow. Let me just double check. Huh. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Oof. Okay, well, I think we need to go all the way back down. Oh wait, there's the rest of the notes on that branch area. Blech. That was risky, but made it work. Oh yeah, Kazooie doesn't slide on the ice. I should remember that. She does move very quickly though, which can also be a detriment, but can at least not slide around. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna leave the gold feathers. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. There's all the notes. Very good. Ow. <laughs> God dang it. Okay. Uh... Oops. And now for something completely different. Where is extra honeycomb piece number two? I can't know. But I do know where the other one is, and it's over here. So this part, remember I told you about going to see the guy behind the boulder? Whoops. That's weird. Why did that disconnect? Uh, it's a lot harder in the winter, but you do need to do it. Well, I gotta find the freaking spot for it. Ooh, the double. Over... No, it's not over here. Where's the hole? Must be at the other end. Anyway, the thing to remember about the icy water is that if you, uh, you lose your breath like twice as fast. So, uh, here's the hole, yeah. Here's a mumbo token as well. Is there anything else around here? I really feel like I'm missing something, but whatever. And in we go. So as you see, came very close to dying there. Don't usually get visitors. Yeah, so here's the extra honeycomb piece I knew was in here. I must have missed one in one of the other seasons, though. I had to have, right? Um, as you saw, there is an extra life over at that far end. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. Uh, it will it will get me killed to get that. I need to go as quickly as I can back to the opening and hopefully get out in time. 
Okay. Yeah, going for that extra life is definitely not worth it. <laughs> Does not count toward 100%, and I don't think we even keep the amount of lives we have once we reset the game anyway, so it's like, no, I'm, I don't care. So, where is the other extra hunting bone piece? <laughs> what even is happening? Okay. I see George Costanza and Xehanort and bleaching eyes, and I'm just like, what? All right. Let me, uh, let me make one more pass with the, uh, the flight pad just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And, uh, And then we got to figure out where that other extra honeycomb piece is. Oh, wait, I think I know, actually. Remember the platform that we could only get to is the B? Never mind. There's nothing up here. <laughs> no! Oh, no. What? How dare... Ouch. <laughs> um. Oh no, the window. It's a duh, freaking John. You idiot. I broke the window but didn't go in. Remember at the top. John R. Dumb. John Big Dumb. John Big Dumb. Okay. Extra honeycomb piece. Please. Yes. Extra honeycomb piece. Thank goodness. I was about to have to go back through the other seasons and try to figure out what I miss. Okay. Cool. Alright. Well, that's that then. We are done with Click Clock Wood, but... We have one last task that we will have to take care of, which is to go back to spring, retrieve the bee, and then go outside the level. I don't think bleaching your eyes with darkness is a thing, Aaron. To be honest, it sounds like the exact opposite, but, um, you do you. So we'll grab Mr. B, not Mr. Beast, Mr. B. I thought I remembered there being something up here, too. A little hidden something? No? I thought it was like a one-up or something. Oh, well. I guess not. Whoops. Bleh. Anyway. Remember we hit the Gruntilda switch, it made a Jiggy appear. 
first there was this up here. This is probably what I was thinking about, honestly. But uh, the B is the only thing we use to get up here because there's not a flight pad in this area. So we've gotten every jiggy in the game, every note in the game, and every extra honeycomb piece in the game. With all that being said, eight and a half hours. Um, yeah. So <laughs> Mumbo's Mountain took less than 18 minutes. Time started going up after that. Look at Clankers. We got lost for a while in Clankers. Had to double back twice in Bubble Glue. Freeze Easy went okay. Gobies went okay. Mad Monster Mansion could have been better. I think I was... No, I wasn't sick then. But anyway, Rusty Bucket Bay always takes forever. Click Clock Wood took an hour and a freaking half. Yeah, that's way longer than that should have taken. But we've got everything. And, uh, what remains is Grunty's Furnace Fun, and then the final showdown with her. Um, I need to not be a bee, though, so I need Mumbo to tell me that I need to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. There you go. Okay, so. With needing to go back and get the answers to the questions from Brentilda, as well as. Oh, I can't do that. Uh, as well as doing the game show itself and then fighting Gruntilda. That's probably another hour and a half, uh, and I don't want to commit to that. <laughs> um, so what I think I'm going to do is stop here, and then next time we'll be able to easily knock out the end game of this uh, lovely adventure of ours. But. Um, Oh, 64. Grand 64. Very good. Uh, but uh, I'm going to call it there. I just, if, if I'd gotten through that more smoothly, if it only been like an hour, uh, and I wasn't so frazzled feeling afterwards, I would have probably tried to press on. Um, not tonight, Aaron. Not, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of like brain burnt. So um, I'm going to do what I think is best here and call it. Uh, how do you seriously present the ideas of these games to someone? Like, a bear turns into a bee and runs with a bird on his back. Well, the thing to bear in mind... <laughs> get it, bear? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the thing to think about with with Rare, the company that made it, um, they already had a penchant for doing these types of games. Uh, Donkey Kong Country was like their first... Oh, it was their first game. It was their first big hit. Um, and uh, so there was that. They also just had a really crazy, goofy mindset towards, like, silliness, characters with big googly eyes, you know, things like that. Um, but at the end of the day, I would say that people were trying more crazy stuff back then. Uh... 90s they were just like let's just see what the frick happens no not trucks <laughs> just let's see see what happens um we'll try some random crap and uh they that games moved away from that for a long time and now i feel like at least on the indie scene they're kind of dipping back into the the crazy stuff oh my gosh anyway i miss classic rare i do because even though there have been a lot of copycats since, nobody did it as good as they did. But Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everybody for your generosity. Particularly Aaron and, and CJ with ridiculous amounts of bits and 
freaking gift subs and all your nonsense. Uh, but um, it's a good time, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another stream today. Bye.